One of the biggest, biggest fishing companies in the Hauraki Gulf has just revealed how much it's willing to sacrifice in order to help protect the environment. Sanford has told News Harbour it would be willing to reduce the area it trawls by 50%. There's a lot of interest in the state of the Hauraki Gulf fishery and Sanford says it's willing to compromise to protect it. We were prepared to compromise on where we currently operate for the benefit of the Hauraki Gulf Marine Park. How much are you willing to compromise? I think some of the numbers that might land could be something between a 40 to 50 per cent reduction on what we currently do. Colin Williams is talking about so-called trawl corridors, limiting where vessels can trawl in the Gulf as part of a government plan to protect it. Do you think Sanford will get to a point where they have a discussion about exiting the Gulf completely though? I could never rule that out in the future, Michael. I think we've got to be open to all permutations as time goes on. He denies Sanford meddled in the process to ensure trawling could continue. Have you put pressure on MPI in any way? Definitely not. No, we do not. We're part has, of the process. Has the wider industry done that? Not that I'm aware of, no. The industry also denies pressuring MPI to get wins for the commercial sector. And when it comes to trawling, Jeremy Helson believes even in 10 years, it'll still be happening. It'll be more selective, uh, but I think there's still a place for trawling in New Zealand and there will be for some time. New technology is being trialled where cameras are attached inside nets underwater so the skipper can see what's happening in real time. And that reduces tow times, reduces environmental impacts, reduces carbon emissions and that sort of thing. But calls to end trawling in the Gulf now remain loud. Last night News Hub revealed a member of the advisory group on the Gulf plan resigned, saying MPI officials were unwilling to deviate from allowing trawl corridors and they had a fixed agenda. Do you fear the public consultation and the public submissions will be disregarded? My gut feeling is saying that yes, 100%. Newsump has spoken to another member of the advisory group who told me that they believe officials have clearly demonstrated a closed mind. In their opinion, the implementation of trawl corridors was predetermined and because of that, they believe the public consultation on the plan is, quote, a sham. MPI says trawl corridors were previously identified as a way to minimise the impact from bottom contact fishing. They are considering all views and say they believe the consultation has been fair and not a sham.